rushing wind blow through this temple, blowing out the dust within. Come and breathe. Welcome to Sword Box Ministries. Thanks for checking out our Friday message. Mickey talks about being led by the Holy Spirit and touches on the fact that the Holy Spirit of God will reveal the truth of His Word to you. Our verse today is from Romans 8:14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. Well, we talked yesterday about how we're sealed with the Holy Spirit. Today I want to talk about another purpose of God's Spirit in our lives, and that is to lead us. To have a Spirit-filled life, you must su submit to a Spirit-led life. He leads and we follow. The world is offering us an alternative at every corner, in every situation. Just do your own thing. Follow what you feel, what you want, what you desire. And it takes little effort. But to follow Jesus Christ requires sacrifice. It requires discipline and a renewing of our minds. When we come to Christ, our minds are worldly. They're against God. The Holy Spirit will begin to change all that through His leading. First and foremost, through His Word. The Spirit of God will take the Word of God and replace the lies with truth and give us understanding whereas before it didn't make any sense. We now have the mind of Christ in us. Now we can understand God's Word. The passage in 1 Corinthians 2, 12-16 says it much better than I could. It says, Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we also speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but with the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. And down in verse 16 it says, For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. We all have thoughts that race through our minds. Our thoughts, the devil's thoughts, yes, he can put thoughts in there. And we have God's thoughts. And we choose which ones to accept, to dwell on, and to obey. And as believers, we must be in God's Word. Colossians 3.16, let the Word of Christ dwell in you richly. We can't expect to be led by a Spirit when we refuse to open up His Word. God has spoken. We are blessed with His written Word. His Holy Spirit will help you understand it. But you've got to take that step. Open up your Bible. Start to read God's Word. And let God's Holy Spirit give you understanding. Let Him begin to lead you in your Christian walk. God bless you. I hope you have a good weekend. We'll see.